When you think about the first time we met, what do you remember? I've, t I've shared this story with you before, but, uh, you know, you came, you were born premature, and um, it was pretty scary. Um, but when you did come, I just remember uh, standing over the, the uh, incubator, it was an open in incubator, and I just sang to you, and I started crying. And uh, I was just happy that you was healthy, and I just couldn't stop crying because you were here, and me and Mommy waited a long time for you to come, even though you came early. It was intense, and I was just, I was really happy. Scared, happy, joyful. I was just filled with a lot of emotion. Um, but the fact that you survived and you actually, you were here, was very, uh, it was heavy for me. What's the pain in me you wish you could heal? Mm. I don't. No, because I don't know what is your pain. Do you think that's anything that pains me? To me, no, but I don't know what you think. To, that anything that pains you? Um, that you think pains me. Hmm. To me, I don't have anything that pains me, but what do you think pains me? I would change the word pain. And I would say maybe things that you maybe wish were different. I would say um, attention because, you know, your younger brother requires a lot of attention because he's only two. So, you know, and you, you're coming into your independence. You can do for yourself, whereas he can't. So... I would say you would want more attention. Um, yeah, you're halfway correct, but Grayson, he needs a lot of attention. He's either throwing a tantrum, throwing bottles, not eating his food. He only eats bread and cheese. Um, he's a tough nut. He's tough. But his crying does get on my nerves, and I do want a little bit more attention from time to time. Like, say I'm trying to do a flip, and Grayson is just somewhere else, and then, like, I just want more attention. Like, Well, as you know, um, he's growing, so... It won't always be this way as he gets older. I mean, and, I'm, and I'm not telling you to wait for him to get older, but it's situational. You know, um, he's, just very, he's very active. And so are you. You're very active as well. Um, but uh, what I would say is just don't stop. You know, if you have something that you want to show us, that's interesting to you and that you may feel me make us laugh or bring out any emotion, then show us. Never be afraid to not show us anything you want to show us. What's the hardest thing about being my dad that I don't realize? Um, I don't think you guys know or understand uh, some of the sacrifices that I make as your father, but which is natural because you're a child and you shouldn't worry about those things. And I try my best to not have you guys be aware or stress over things that I go through. Um, but timing would be a big thing. You know, uh, uh, we had this conversation the other day that, you know, I wish I had more time just with work and school and online school and you know. homework and mm -hmm. overnight and and the time to travel to then go and pick you guys up after that you know um 
things can feel like it's very scheduled because, you know, if we, if it isn't run that way, then things can kind of go, you know, haywire really fast. Um, but I think that's one, that would be the main thing for me is time. I wish that I had more time. What can I do to be a better father? Nothing. You're a great father how you are. Um, Is there anything that you would like for me to do? Maybe like... Pick me up before recently. Recently you haven't been doing that. But before you used to, you used to pick me up before Grayson because you were closer to me than Grayson. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just want, wanted more time to speak with my friends and play with my friends. Okay. Well, you do know that I, before when I was picking you up before Grayson, that was because my schedule was a little different with school and the time that I get out of class. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, at the end of the day, it is what it is. <laughs> How about it, this? Because it doesn't matter. You pick, it's just okay. something needy. That bothers me a little bit. Oh, okay. But I wouldn't want it to bother you. So this is what I do. I'll tell you this is what I do. I will pick you up first from now on before I pick up Grayson. But you have to make me a promise. Promise that every day around 5.30, that you're already ready. Okay. Make sure you keep an eye on the time, so then that way I could come and get you first, and then we can go over and get him in a reasonable time. Okay? Okay. Make me a promise. What time? 5.30. Okay. How am I most like you, and how does that scare you? You're more like me in more ways than you know. I always have this conversation with mommy that I see a lot of you in me, and she agrees. Um, a lot of our mannerisms and the things that we do and the way we move a lot of people say I have your face. A lot of people say you look just like me. A lot of personality traits. Uh, the way you carry yourself. You're very, you're shy, but with the people that you do cherish your relationships with, you're very open with them. I am open to a lot of people, but like some people, I give them an attitude towards because of either how annoying they are or like just say I'm not in a good mood one day and I'm just, and I'm really annoyed by something. I could be very like rude to them. But what would, what would it take to get you into a bad mood? Um, there's just, Kid named and he's always asking a lot of questions. Um, but maybe he doesn't know enough. Well, and or, also, or maybe he wants to know more of what he's asking. Also, say he says to mind your business, and then he he gets into other people's business. So I'm like, you told me to mind my business when you're getting into my my business or other people's business. Just try to have a little bit more patience, right? I try to have patience with him. Okay. When were you the proudest of me? When you passed your test. Mm -hmm. Big test, and we would all be proud of you and excited for you. Mm -hmm. And give you a positive attitude. Make sure you save some because when daddy graduates, I would hope you guys would be proud of me because you guys are who I do it for. Mm -hmm. Life could have been different if I would have just chose to go from job to job to job, but securing something that's stable for you guys is really what 
drives me and I hope you guys will be proud of me when I'm done. If you could go back to the day I was born, what would you tell yourself? If I could go back to the day you was born, <laughs> I would tell myself to hold on to this moment. Yeah, hold on to this moment. Um, because although I, I hold it very close to me, it's just, it was such, um, it was such a life-changing moment. Um, you instantly had a lot more responsibilities. Not just responsibility, but I wasn't worried about responsibility at that time. You were worried about my health? Mm -mm. I was... I was really happy. I was really happy. I would tell myself, um, Enjoy the small things. Not that I don't, but just enjoy the smaller things. Hey guys, this is Ashika from the Skin Deep. Uh, we're constantly releasing new conversations and if you don't want to miss out, you should sign up to our newsletter at theskindeep.com slash subscribe. Thank you.